Um, we don't have to for Dunamis Church, <laughs> Pastor uh, Paul and Eche. Yes, this is my first time of seeing somebody that came out to give testimony after sharing her testimony. <laughs> In come receive insult. They even threaten her, say, may you know, come here, talk this kind of thing again. No. <laughs> this kind of testimony is this. <laughs> no, no talk. <laughs> Mona Lisa, person will say, him get BSC for law. <laughs> may you hear English and everything. God on this mountain and they are appreciative of God. So your name and what God did for you. Praise the Lord! Above only! I want to appreciate God for my life and my family. And I want to thank God for using mommy and daddy for our sake. It all happened that uh, I was trying to school in uh, National Open University. Before I came to this Dunamis, there's a lot of things that is happening in my life and my family from my father's side and my mother's side nobody's a graduate they will only end up primary or secondary school praise the lord but when god remembered me i got a job and i was i was working and i decided to further my education i started the school i want to do law law uh, program i started 20 uh, 2014 so i continue like that and i want to thank god because during that time I never lack of money to pay my school fees. Praise the Lord. I keep going to the SN. I go to 500 level and challenges everywhere. Problems, sickness. They afflict me with leg and I cannot be able to finish. My meds are finished. So the law uh, program is six years. So since I cannot be able to meet up, some of my meds finish and uh, I keep on like that. And uh, yesterday, God let me. Well, she said that embargo was there. In the course of her program, the course of her program, she was afflicted and it looked as though she wasn't able to, or she isn't going to finish that program, but God helped her. Yesterday, she graduated, like she said, the first person to, to bag a degree, a degree in her family. Degree in what? In what law? What's it, what's it called? What's the name of the degree like? Medicine is MBBS. Give her, give her the mic. What kind of degree is it? My medicine is MBBS. BSc, sir. BSc in law, sir. So the, the testimony is a lie. There is nothing like BSc in law. You Lord either have LLB, LLB or BL. LLB. It's a lie. The testimony is a lie. Please go back to your seat. BSc law. Is that how lawyers speak English? Please. Please, anybody who comes to this altar to share a testimony that is not true, you do it at the risk of yourself. At the risk of yourself. We are not playing here. We are not faking anything here. When she started her testimony and she's talking law, I knew there was no, nothing like law. No matter how bad it is, it hasn't got to that level. They say you got a degree in law. What degree? BSc. Is there any lawyer here who has a BSc in law? Lie testimony. Come to stand on the altar to tell lies in the name of testify. Anyone who dares that you do it at your detriment, the Lord can make it alive. Come to make it look like the word, word, word of God is fake or that what God is doing is not real. You do it at the detriment of yourself. <laughs> when I see that, uh, when, I, when I see what I saw, what was her intention? Okay, maybe she wanted to appear in camera. Even the profession you claim to, to, to have studied, you know that you are not fluent in English like me. So, but, <laughs> hey, people get morale. You get like, say, they know arrest you. Yes, now. It's a defamation of, you know, the reputation of the, oh, it's English, of the church. <laughs> ah! I mean, what I see her. What do you think? What do you think about this lady now? I've been a person parent, but she can't do this thing. I don't understand. Everybody must not give testimony. Me, I know they give. I keep it to myself because I don't know who be who. Yes, I know they share my testimony with anybody. Talk more of going to the church for where? I know they give. I'm stingy for testimony. <laughs> even, even person may go seek for job. Person may go look for job as manager. They're not going to interview and like this. He can't be like say she did for court, they defend her results. Which can't be this one? 
church again no see discrimination so who no sabi speak english no go give testimony for church anybody may want give testimony now need to go uh, learn english graduate first carry certificate come show now before you go give testimony <laughs> ah god <laughs> anyway we are improving we will we, we get there <laughs> oh jesus for inside church far can you imagine eh to say this woman, I want big man, wife, I be one big woman made a support church with a 10, 10 million every month. Now go disgrace her like this. Now no go cover, now no go help her amend the mistake and cover up this church, eh? Eh? Propaganda. Hypocrites for inside church. Not be only government house they see this kind of thing now. For inside church again. He got their pause. Sir, Pastor Paul and H, I beg this woman. She deserve an apology. Oh. My people, this case now, now this now the case of a woman who can't give testimony for church. Say she be BSc holder, BSc graduate of law. You understand? Now in Papa, come collect the mic from uh, this and say you cannot come to my altar and give fake testimony. You want everybody that is coming out on that pulpit to give testimony, say you are your own. Now that is shock you. This woman is not lying. She just graduated from National Open University. Yes, she's a graduate. The story she was trying to tell us is the truth. Just that she's not flowing well in English language, which you and I know that. English is not our own language. Now, pastor, they don't they drag pastor. If you see comments he took for where I, I carry this video. Some people even they talk to you. I think say pastor see I'm spiritual. I say the woman they lie. So you know even see and say this woman they, they talk through just because she cannot express herself very well. Say me pastor come and do public apology. Say na public uh, harassment in do to this lady. What do you think guys? Make we read comments from Nigerians. People may know they happy because Pastor Paul and Nenche not supposed to disgrace the woman like that at all at all. No be everybody now get this confidence to speak in public. Some people, if you say me, they even snap common selfie picture, they they shame. People no get confidence for that Nigeria. And people like this, Pastor Paul and Enche, now them they keep person mora. Make we read comments like I said. Make we not say Nigeria is the first, and they demand apology from Pastor Paul and Enche. Say he go apologize. To the woman, whether I like it or not. Hey, <laughs> hey. Pastor Paul and Enche may now one of the most proud pastor may we get. They brag like tomorrow, no day. <laughs> may the woman just suffer, go sit down no, because Pastor Paul and Enche, I feel bet my life, say no go apologize to the woman. You guys should stop calling that man a pastor. Gradually, God is exposing him. The main reason why the woman was interrupted by the so-called pastor, it was because the testimony was not arranged as usual. Why did he not allow the woman to finish what she wanted to say? Is, it, is he the one the woman was testifying to all oh God? The problem is that most of these pastors has made themselves God before their members. Do you want to tell me that if that woman is rich and has and has been supporting the church one way or the other, the so-called pastor will interrupt her the manner he did? The Almighty God that I know is not happy at that man's action towards the woman. Can you imagine the level of insult he gave to the woman? He, even ask the woman is this how lawyers speak english that man is fake and god will use this situation to expose him the more the holy reason pride lifts you up is to let you down another person said this woman was treated very harshly she probably made an error it should have been investigated before embarrassing her in that manner. Some people are intelligent yet not fluent in English. We Africans must stop attributing good manner to being intelligent. Prophet James by name said, I also have BS, I also have BSc in law. You can't laugh. 
Lucy said, now that woman I blame, instead of her to go to Dumeje's church and give testimony, everyone will be happy. Nigeria's, Nigeria's checks one English, one education with English. Go tell Chinese man to speak English for you fluently. No be lie. Go tell Chinese man, I've been an Indian man. Tell her make you speak English for you fluently. Now your mama language, I've been at your papa language. <laughs> Holy Nigerians, we can see comma comments yakpa people verse another person even the pastor didn't do well sometimes tension can make you forget things they would have corrected her privately or in another way meanwhile English English is not our language another person I think it should have been verified before conclusion is drawn. Testimony is good. The lady is not just fluent in English and may not have really known what a certificate is called. I have seen several cases like that. I personally condemn calling her names by anybody unless it is proven she is really lying. Another person, she might actually be telling the truth as difficult as it sounds. Remember, this is Nigeria we are talking about. A country where some graduates don't know the difference between is and was. This is not the fact. For real. But English no be our mama language, not borrowed language. So, even the poor Enente, you know they perfect. No one is perfect. Nobody they perfect for God's sake. People, they make mistakes. He needs to, he really needs to apologize to this woman. Which kind of embarrassment be this for church again? Because the testimony, they're not arranger. Eh? Now everybody go, they carry arranged testimony, they come altar of God. Eh? This life, no balance as they talk about. I beg, make a live on I make on I do the remaining one for comment section. I don't tire. I know if you shout. Uh uh, these pastors, when are they calm down? Which kind of disgrace be this one? For inside church again. Now walk, she go look for a bee, then call her, make she can't do waiting for a government house.